Hello everyone, good day and welcome again to the End Time Truth Television. I just want to say thank you for coming around and uh, God bless you. In this video, I have two short videos I'm going to play for you. One is how Jeremiah punished a woman who laughed during the process of deliverance. And uh, you will see the punishment that was given to a woman. And also hear my own thoughts on that. And uh, secondly, another pastor said God showed him something about the God of Jeremiah, the Owomo Womo God. These are packed in this video. I will be back. Please don't go away. You are welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, Give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. So here we have the video of this prophet to some of you. You know, the other day, two days ago, I brought you a video where he was completely messing up the scriptures. You know, talking about Jesus asking Peter to go and bring hook and line. And so because he has hook and line that he wants to sell, to his gullible followers, he must, you know, twist the scriptures. Please, let us have a look at this video. Laugh, God hates it. The time to laugh, you laugh. But the time to cry, you cry. The time to serious is serious. This time, a woman laughs at a man. Am I playing with you? No, sir. A woman laughs at a man of God, and God sealed her womb. When the time for you to serious, you are laughing. Who is laughing with you? Sir, I'm not laughing at you. Am I your husband? No, sir. Am I your boyfriend? No, sir. You're laughing. 20 times. Move around. If you miss calculation, count up. But the time to cry, you cry. The time to serious is serious. This time, a woman laughs at a man. Am I playing with you? No, sir. A woman laughs at a man of God, and God sealed her womb. When the time for you to serious, you are laughing. Who is laughing with you? Sir, I'm not laughing at you. Am I your husband? No, sir. Am I your boyfriend? No, sir. You're laughing. 20 times, move around. If you miss calculation, count up. God, have mercy on me. Now, having watched the video, number one is that um, <laughs> maybe I will talk about the lady first, but but um, he said that a, a, that God hates laugh. Is it laugh? God hates laugh. I want. I know he wanted to say God hates laughter. But the Lord doesn't hate laughter. There was no ma woman that laughed to or that laughed with a man of God that her womb was sealed. I know he was referring to the incident that happened between David and the daughter of Saul, Michal, who was his wife. When David was dancing and praising the Lord, David was doing what God loved. And Michal mocked David, insulted David. That was what she did that made God to lock her womb that she did not bear. And he has it in the record as the barren woman, the only barren woman in the Bible that did not bear a child, according to the stories that we have in the Bible. Now, that is part of it. That, you know, that, that is one. And then, so, the woman must be punished for laughing. So she has to go round 20 times or else... The God of Jeremiah will not show her mercy. The God of Jeremiah will not answer her prayers. But then have you even thought, because I was thinking, why would the woman laugh? If the woman, if the woman had problems, truly, anyone that has problem, you know, and God has remembered you just as he used to remember them in that church. God has suddenly remembered you. God revealed your case to the man of God. You will be emotional. Because you are expectant, this problem has been there for long. Unfortunately, the video is short. 
we don't know what the problem was that brought her out. But then we know how they used to locate people. So he must have located her. And instead of the woman being, you know, sober and expectant and, uh, you know, being in good comportment, she started laughing. And that her laughter irritated Jeremiah. Why would she laugh? Could it be that the woman remembered what she was told backstage? And the demonstration and remonstration of the prophet was like shy. And all this one who are here wouldn't know what has taken place, you know. Because I, I really do not know. Now, now, let's take for instance, if the woman was barren, for instance, barrenness is not an issue that women joke with. If she was sick, nobody jokes with sickness. You come with all kinds of seriousness, all kinds of... Now, so and suddenly, the God of Jeremiah, the God of Owomowo, has suddenly remembered you, located you, you know, in the midst of thousands, hundreds and thousands of people, only you happen to be located and suddenly you are laughing. Something is very, very wrong with that. The God of Owomowo, you know, doesn't like people that laugh. And talking about the God of Owomowo, listen to a pastor that said, God, you know, revealed something to him about the God of Owomowo. This one is not me, please. Watch. Down to the people that are raining in Nigeria. First of all, bring a woman, woman to me. It's, there's a big python. A fence like there's those iron that used to fence round. Then the big python round the church. Anybody that go to the church, you'll be wrapped by that snake. And your destiny, your glory. If you have a destiny and glory, if he pray for you, take his waters and his oils, then you'll be swallowed up. Your destiny will swallow up. Like the python be so me, the, the python big. The python big. He can swallow, he can swallow me like person like me, like two as one. So it is a power from the river. They, they are connected to each other. All the person that are raining, they are connected. They are in one way. They are using one power. So, then I'll tell it down to the people that are raining in Nigeria. First of all, bring a woman, woman to me. It's, there's a big python. A fence, like there's those iron that used to fence round. Then the big python round the church. Anybody that go to the church, you'll be wrapped by that snake. And your destiny, your glory, if you have a destiny and glory, if he pray for you, take his waters and his oils, then you'll be swallowed up. Your destiny will swallow up. Like the python be so me, the, the python big. The python big. He can swallow, he can swallow me like person like me, like two as one. So it is a power from the river. They, they are connected to each other. All the person that are raining, they are connected. They are in one way. They are using one power. So, then I'll tell it. Well, anyway, that was the video that you heard there. I wouldn't say much here. I'm not going to analyze. I would let you have your opinion put down. Uh, both the followers of Jeremiah Omoto Fufeni and those that don't follow him, just let us have your opinion taken down. By, by chance, I found the video. It is short, but I found it. And the caption that it was given is what you are seeing here. So it's not my video. I didn't say it. This person said so. Now, even though that I don't agree with the man that every, every pastor or every big pastor, every pastor that is known is, is occultic, I don't agree with that. And I will never agree with that. It's like when every, everybody is saying that there is no true pastor in Nigeria or in Africa. If you say so, then there are no true Christians in Nigeria, including you. So if you agree that every pastor is bad, every pastor is fake, every pastor is evil, you are automatically saying that every Christian is evil. And if every Christian is evil, that is you inclusive, uh, included, whichever one is correct. So I want to you know, ask you to please put down your opinion. You see, I allow people to put down the opinion, express your opinion. What I have expressed here are my opinions and my convictions. And so there is no point, you know, insulting me on that. But then if that is how you know how what best to do, kudos and God bless you. Just, you know, get engaged. 
I'll be seeing you in the next video. Till then, from me to you, shalom.